Now I want to move into something that's very interesting to me, and that's this new French decree, French decree 2022-748. Some of you may have heard of this. Uh, it's it's uh, something that's coming at us this in 2022 uh, and became effective in 2023 for certain products. And this is the environmental labeling of waste generating products for the French market. And it's it, uh, put in place under the AGEC law, um, and which is France's anti-waste circular economy law. Right? And this was published into the French official journal in April. Yeah. And what the purpose of this decree was, was to provide uh, information that needs to be required under an already existing article in the environmental code. So article 541.91, already indicated that consumer information on environmental qualities and characteristics of waste generating products must be provided. That obligation already existed. What wasn't there was information on what needed to be provided and who it needed to be provided to and when it needed to be provided. So that information comes from this decree. So this isn't a new obligation. It's a clarification of existing obligation that was already there, right? And the implementation of this is being done based on the uh, participation in the market. So anybody placing more than 50, uh, 25,000 units and doing more than 50 million euros of revenue on the French market, this sub it applies to them in January, 2023 with 20 million and 10,000 units coming uh, as the threshold in 2024. And that coming down to companies with 10 million euros in revenue and 10,000 units on the market by 2025. So there is smaller company exemption from this but um, you can see that over time, the size of the companies being brought in scope is being brought down. Now, uh, the regulation applies to all kinds of different products, and I've listed the products in scope here. And obviously, the one we're concerned with is electrical and electronic equipment. Now, the required information for each type of product varies. So, for example, textile products require information that are not is not required to be provided for electrical equipment. So it's really important that you understand what the requirements are for your specific type of equipment. Now, I'm kind of reviewing this from the perspective of electronic equipment. So if you make any of these other devices, you'll want to go back and review the regulation to see what kind of additional information might be required from you. Right? Now, this regulation generically applies to consumer products. But when you go into Article 541.10.1 and you actually review the list of products that are in scope for the regulation, when it mentions electrical and electronic equipment, it specifically indicates that electrical and electronic equipment is in scope, whether it's intended for use by private individuals or professionals. It's the only category where they specifically mentioned that it's applicable to product used by professionals. So that kind of consumer exemption really doesn't apply to electrical and electronic equipment here. Now, when we look at what kind of information needs to be included or needs to be provided to consumers, it's actually a pretty big, uh, you know, um, data set. We're talking about repairability index, sustainability or durability, uh, how recyclable the product is, the percentage of recycled products in the product, for example. Um, SVHCs present need to be um, provided. Information needs to be provided. So no longer is that uh, uh, something that you're just passing on the supply chain. But you know, a REACH already requires that you provide that upon request. So they're just making that available as part of this uh, data set. Dangerous substances also have to be disclosed, which um, means any substance that the French National Agency for Food, Environment, and Occupational Health and Safety, uh, any substance they deem as dangerous needs to be disclosed as well. And currently there's been four decrees. So there's four substances on that list of dangerous substances that need to be included. Also, precious metals and rare earth metals, there needs to be information on those as well, right? So this is a lot of information that we need to be providing. And when we provide that information, we need to be aware that it's not just one person that's providing it. Producers, importers, distributors, and other marketers that are placing the product on the market has to have this, made, this information made available, even if it's an online distribution channel like Amazon, okay? And I've kind of listed uh, some in tables here, the fact that you know, information is required, not just on the product itself, but also on the packaging used to uh, uh, provide the product. So, and the, the information is different. So the product needs to communicate things like a sustainability index rating and things like that, where the packaging needs to communicate whether it's compostable, uh, whether it's reusable, refillable, things like that. And um, this information, again, varies by product type. So you'll always wanna make, compare this to the products you're making. Now, uh, when you're providing this information, uh, this information is provided by making it available electronically and where applicable 
uh, by display labeling or other device. Now, this is an important statement here, and this is something I want to highlight. Now, I, 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 the word and, making it available electronically and through other methods. Now, I've seen a lot of articles written where they use the word or, that you can mark the product and that eliminates your, ability, your obligation to provide the data electronically. And that is not how the regulation is written. I've gone back and scrubbed it. I've asked my French speaking colleagues to review it and tell me. And basically what it says is there is an obligation to provide the electronic information and make it available. The other areas uh, might be used to meet the requirements to making it accessible at the time of the act of purchase. So in other words, if you don't have the electronic data available at the act of purchase, you may have to put a label on a product because the information must be visible or accessible to the consumer at the act of purchase. Now the electronic information also must be reusable so it can't be a, a JPEG. It has to be like something that could be imported like an Excel file or something. And so what you have an obligation here is you have to provide all the information that's listed here. You have to make that available to the consumer at the time of purchase. And it has to be available electronically although you can also do it other ways. So uh, one good approach might be to use something like a QR code, something you put on a product or on the product's packaging that the consumer could scan. It would take them to a website. There would be a downloadable product info sheet there as well. And so they could get all the information with the time of purchase. That might be something to consider, but this is something that is a requirement. And again, as you go back and you read articles about French decree and they say, hey, you can make the data available electronically, or you can make it marking, know that that's not true. Okay, at least not to my, and my interpretation is that's not true. Learn more by viewing the full length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.